Hey guys, today's video is going to focus on community service and how you can make it a part of your college applications. Schools are increasingly looking for students that are not just smart or, you know, athletic, but they want students that are good people. They want students who care about others, who care about helping others, who care about bettering their community, and who have a little bit of selflessness in them. Now, I don't want you to get any wrong ideas. I'm absolutely not advocating for doing community service solely for your college applications. In fact, you really should be doing community service for yourself. If you're in high school and you're trying to find one of the best ways to grow and really mature as you progress through your high school career and prepare yourself for college, doing community service and spending time giving back to others is one of the best ways that you can grow your emotional intelligence. Now, community service can take a lot of different forms. I strongly suggest you find a couple of things that you're really interested or passionate about. What are the issues that maybe keep you up at night, or if they're not keeping you up at night, are hotly debated around your kitchen table? What are the things that you wish that you could do something about, but maybe you're feeling like you're too young, or you don't have the resources to do something about it? Make a list of maybe five or ten of these issues. And maybe you only have two or three, and that's absolutely fine. But do some research and find some ways to get involved. Even in the age of Corona, there are so many virtual opportunities for you to get involved. There actually might be more virtual opportunities for you to get involved in projects or passions. One of the keys to community service is consistency. I'm not saying you have to do this every Saturday for the rest of the four years if you're a high school freshman, but maybe you pick something and you do it once a month for two hours, or maybe you do it once every other month for four hours. I want you to find something that feels right to you that feels like you're contributing, but also is something that you genuinely want to do. Whatever you add in terms of community service shouldn't be something that your mom or your dad is forcing you to do, and that you're dreading, and that you're wishing that you could be anywhere else, maybe playing video games or reading a book. It should be something that at the end of it, you're like, wow, I actually feel good. I feel like I helped someone, and you know, it made me happy. That's the feeling that you want. That's how you know that you found the right community service activity for you. That's really what colleges are looking for. They're looking to see, do you have something that fulfills you outside of just your own self-interests? Is there something that propels you forward into becoming a more altruistic version of yourself? It can be a passion for animals. It can be a passion for, you know, environmental cleanup. You could be helping domestic violence victims, you could be helping plant flowers for senior citizens. There's really like a large range of things that you can do. Virtually, there's a lot of really cool projects. You could become a Smithsonian digital volunteer and help out with the transcription effort. You could also volunteer with Learning Ally or Points of Light. There's so many different search engines out there for teens looking to get involved, whether it's in person or safely at home virtually. I think in this, you know, time of pause and transition that we find ourselves, this can be a great moment for you to really dig deep and see if you can figure out if there's something that you can do that can help make the people around you, or maybe even the people across the country from you, in a little bit of a better position. The fact that you get to add that to your college application, I think should just be an added bonus. And you do want to say, you know, maybe it was just two hours every month or every other month, but you did it for so many years, you absolutely want to include that on your college application because the consistency and the dedication and a certain type of project or issue is what colleges are going to be most impressed by. I hope this video helped you figure out how you can incorporate community service, giving back, and thoughtfulness into your life and into your college applications. If you liked this video, make sure you subscribe to this channel for more college application tips and videos. And of course, check out my blog for more posts. I'll see you guys next time.